What's up everybody? It's me Mandy here and welcome back to another Endless Ocean video on my channel. I have really been focusing on a lot of Endless Ocean content lately because honestly I've just been so inspired with Endless Ocean Luminous coming up. We all have waited a long time for this game and if you are new to this game you're still here waiting with us so we're all kind of in the same boat just waiting for this game to come out so that we can dive off the edge of the boat and finally immerse ourselves in the story. So today's gonna be a little bit more of a discussion video where I kind of share my thoughts on this game and just talk about it with you guys. So without further ado, let's do it. So one of the biggest takeaways for me from the first two Endless Ocean games, Dive Discover Dream and Blue World, is their heart for storytelling. I've always loved good, heartfelt, and ser not serious stories in the way where it's like, oh, they took this seriously. It doesn't necessarily have to be a dark, gruesome story, but a story where you're walking through it with the characters and you're feeling what they're feeling and you're seeing them change and you're seeing them be redeemed through these situations and you're feeling just the conflicts that they're going through in just personally or with each other in relationships. And the thing about Endless Ocean, especially Endless Ocean Blue World, is that when I play through that game, I'm feeling very connected to the characters. And this is just a game about scuba diving. And they really took it to another level with the storytelling. And I just replayed Blue World live with you guys in a little live playthrough. And now we're on like the uh, post game quests, but replaying through it, especially after playing through it as a kid i always loved the story and always loved these characters so much but after growing up a little and playing through it again i really realized how in-depth this story was and how much heart had gone into it there was not only so much heart in how they portrayed ocean life and the ocean and how careful they were with it and how kind they were to to this beautiful world under the water but also how they treated the characters. We weren't just scuba diving around a, a beautiful world, which would be awesome too. It was so much more than that, and it added an element that I think is just such a big reason why we get so attached to this game, because we do have characters to go through that life with. That life is in the story mode and the playthrough, and it becomes very special. And having strong characters that are interacting with your player in the game, going about this beautiful world with beautiful music and such a care again for the natural world, that is why these games are so precious to me and I'm sure for so many other people. So that heart behind the first two games, there's a lot of, a lot of that in the first game, but they really expanded it in the second one. That's what I really want to see in Endless Ocean Luminous, and now that I know that they do have a story mode, it's called World Coral. I don't know if that's like the official title, World Coral in the Canyon, and that's what I'm dreaming of seeing, at least a glimpse of it in the story mode in Luminous, because I think that's what sets it apart from other games and why we talk about Endless Ocean more, because of the care that they put in the story. And if I'm being honest, not a lot of stories are very strong these days because it's lacking that heart. It's lacking that seriousness to display characters with internal struggles and redeemable qualities. And the fact that Blue World and Dive Discovery Dream brought that, I think that's why they were so strong. So I'm hoping in Endless Ocean Luminous, we are going to see that. I'm kind of guessing hearing world coral and seeing this picture of kind of like a tree growing out of the water with roots really deep i'm thinking it's going to be something with a coral reef dying potentially which could set us up for a very heartfelt plot just really paying close attention to what is happening in the sea and what is happening to coral reefs in general and this might be like an expanded story on that a little bit more mythical with perhaps like some sort of tree that is kind of the energy source for the reef. 
I'm not sure. That's, we don't really have much info as to what the story mode is, but that's kind of where my mind is, is going. But I could be totally wrong. I'll find out in less than a month. In like two and a half weeks now, I think. Or three weeks. I'm hoping they have characters in this. I think that would be a very endless ocean of them to do, to add characters. Even in Dive Discover Dream, we had Catherine who was afraid of swimming. And that was kind of her internal struggle. And you kind of worked through that with her throughout the story and though I don't think she ever actually swam we still saw her her passion for the sea and we kind of went along that journey with her and in blue world we really see the conflict is being resolved in every character in that they didn't really handled that very well Jean Eric really stands out to me they really really showcased his care for his daughter and his or his sorry his granddaughter and his son and you could see that he had so much care for them that it made him fearful it made him fearful because of what happened to his son that it might again happen to his granddaughter and that's why all his curiosity for the song of dragons was just thrown out the window because he was like i need to protect my granddaughter because what happened to my son was my fault and he's like, if I dedicate myself to this project again, which brings up a lot of memories for him, then he could be putting his granddaughter in danger. So I'm just rambling because I love that story, but those are the things that really stood out to me, among other things, with the story. And that's why it just powered you through the quest line so much. So I'm hoping that Luminous has these elements in there because I think they really are a standout in these games and I think they really are important for the Endless Ocean games and why a lot of other ocean related games I played that I love so much why they just weren't the same as Endless Ocean and why I just really enjoy Endless Ocean games most of all. I'm also really excited for the like level system and the XP and the discovering animals because another thing about Endless Ocean is discovering animals is so much fun with the encyclopedia. I'm we're definitely for sure getting an encyclopedia because we there's clearly much to do with discovering animals and getting XP through that. You can kind of see XP being collected as you discover animals. And there's going to be all the info that you, once you click on the animal and discover them you can read about them and there's also going to be an audio option so you can have someone read it to you with audio playback which is really nice so i'm really excited about that because then we get to learn more about these creatures and have like an educational source in the game because that's another thing these games are very educational and you can tell that people knew what they were talking about in these games that marine biologists were really working with with this game which is awesome with any ocean games, unless they're more like on the fantasy side, like Subnautica, which still had a lot of realism in it. I haven't played it much, but from what I've seen, it has a lot of good ocean fact in it, even though it is a little bit more fantasy. It's important to know about the ocean and to know about the creatures in it <laughs> and how it functions. So I love that about Endless Ocean as well. And another thing, I'm going to say this one final thing. I love roleplay and I'm really excited to see how we can embrace roleplay in Endless Ocean Luminous because I've been working on a project in Blue World that is something to do with roleplay. You'll see it very soon and it's just so easy to immerse yourself in roleplay in Endless Ocean Blue World and I'm sure in Dive Discover Dream because I've I've done it as a kid. <laughs> I would love to get on and roleplay. I have my whole little roleplay world in my mind and I just kind of took it out on Endless Ocean games. So yes, both games are very roleplay worthy and I'm hoping to do lots of roleplay related things with you guys in Luminous and lots of roleplay content, whether that's just on my own or collaborative both. I'm really excited and I'm just really excited to immerse myself into any roleplay aspects that I can get out of out of Luminous as I've done in the other games as, as I'm still doing in Blue World currently and 
it's gonna be really fun. So if there's that heart behind the storytelling in the game, it's gonna be really exciting to embrace role play in this game. And I've always loved characters so much and stories and the ocean. And the, those are three things that I've always been able to find in Endless Ocean. Another passion of mine is horses, which I, I mean, there's seahorses in this game, but I, I can use that creativity in other games for sure, like Star Stable, which you see here on the channel as well. But those three things I can really embrace in Endless Ocean, and I'm excited to hopefully really just dive into that in Endless Ocean Luminous when it comes out, and it's gonna be really, really awesome. So, I have rambled. That was my goal, was to just, like, kind of ramble about those few things, because uh, those are some of the biggest takeaways for me with video games and Endless Ocean in general, so... Let me know if you kind of share some of these thoughts or you want to kind of add on to it at all. I love that we've just been really discussing this over the past, I think, two months now. When I posted my reaction video, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had no idea there would be so many of you. So, thank you. And it makes me very glad to see so many Endless Ocean lovers out there. I did not realize there were so many. And... After playing as a kid with few people to play with, it's really exciting to know that there's so many of you guys out there who are just as excited about this game as I am. I've never had this sort of community before with this game, so I can't wait. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts on this, but thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot wait for Endless Ocean Luminous. I keep saying it, but it's true. And I really appreciate you guys coming along this journey with me. And I will see you soon. Bye guys.